At a recent Portrait Society convention, about 10 different artists simultaneously painted demonstration portraits of live models. Each artist had his or her own method of working, but they all arrived at the same result. A beautiful portrait. As an experiment, I decided to try one of the techniques I saw. This video is the result. This method looked kind of interesting. No sketching, no measuring, just bang. Start right in laying down the largest shapes and working your way down to the smaller ones. Using the standard progression for painting in oil of darkest colors first, then moving gradually to the lightest. I've speeded the video up about four times real time so I could get the whole process into the 10 minute YouTube time limit. I used myself as the model here by looking in the mirror and since this method of painting was very new to me, I had no idea of what colors I'd be using. I started with a dark green for the background, but later changed it to a warm brown. I think I was totally disoriented by this challenge. Hmm, doesn't look like much yet, does it? Well, I threw in another weird color here, but I was trying to get the values right and not thinking about the colors yet. I'm starting to pick out some of the shapes in the face now and trying to get closer to the right colors but I still don't feel comfortable not having some kind of construction reference points to nail down the draftsmanship. Well, it's starting to look familiar, but I'm still not comfortable. This is like building a house without first making a design, a blueprint, and a foundation. I'm not sure of what I'm going to wind up with. Here's where I finally realized that the background should be brown and not green. Yuck. Let's get in a little closer here so you can see the brushwork. I'm looking for shapes and values now, and I'm not being too concerned about the color.
as I keep picking away at the smaller and smaller shapes, I'm noticing more and more errors in draftsmanship. The style of painting has become more and more like work and less and less like fun. That's not a good thing. As Mr. Edison would have said, this experiment isn't failing. I'm just finding another technique that doesn't work for me. About now, I got tired of chasing the colors and draftsmanship. I learned a lot by doing this experiment, but probably the most important thing I learned was that I didn't like working this way. Without careful sketching or using some method of building an accurate foundation, I found myself spending more time correcting mistakes in draftsmanship than thinking about color and likeness. I finally gave up and finished the painting in the method that I'd become accustomed to. The lesson here is, there is no one right way to paint. Find the method that suits you best and polish it so that you're comfortable with it. That was a great lesson. I made an hour and 10 minute DVD titled, How I Did It, that shows my method for painting a portrait. It might give you some ideas for making your own painting routine. Check out my website at this address to see how to get the DVD.